I am a famous. I don't know if I know this, but I'm one of the famouses. And it's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's, you know, it's got its pros and cons, right? Cons are that you, um, you know, the media can lie about you without recourse and people try and take advantage of you and you know, try and embezzle money from you. And it slowly isolates you from the public and then from your friends and then from your family. But sometimes when you go to Arby's and they give you your order and you look to see if they got it right, there's like a lot of horsey sauce, like a lot. And you go over and you're like, I think this is some sir. And they're like, hey, we love your work. <laughs> so that's great, you know. But the weirdest thing about being famous, in my opinion, is, ooh, I'm making sure you're still watching up there. <laughs> you got a fan over here. Did you know that? Have you ever had a fan of you specifically? My God. Well, I have to ask right now, do you think you have a thousand fans right now? Yeah! <laughs> Jesus, that's how much I love you guys. I love people so much that I just, I had to make even the spotlight guy have a great fucking night. Um, but, so one of the weirdest things about being famous is how many people hate you. So many people hate you. And it's very, and they don't know you. They have, but here, look, um, you seem like a, uh, look, you seem like a nice guy, sir. What's your name? Evan. What is it? Evan, Evan with a D. <laughs> Sorry, Evan. So how many people do you think hate you? Like actually, like hate you? How many people do you think it is? A dozen? A dozen? That's a lot. It does, it's a fair amount. It's not as many as one guy. I asked this at a show, and this guy goes, 52. I was like, 52? That's pretty specific. And his wife yelled out, on his Facebook high school reunion page, he said some pretty fucked up shit. And I was like, did you go to high school with him? And she yelled out, she was funny, she yelled out, 53. <laughs> Doesn't seems like a lot, but I don't know why I did this. Kate always says, don't do this. Um, but this guy told me uh, that there's this uh, program that you can go on and you enter in your social media and then the word hate, and then it aggregates all sort of tweets and posts and everything and shows you how many people hate you, essentially. And I got to tell you guys, so many people hate me that you could fill Yankee Stadium and there'd still be people outside like, I told you we should have got here earlier. I told you that. <laughs> Fucking said there'd be traffic. I, well, of course. No, then here's the thing. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter, because I don't care about those people. I'm never going to meet them. It doesn't even matter. You guys are the people that matter. And I would say, out of all of you, there's only like two people that hate me. <laughs> Cut roast beef. Uh, no, so what's weird is there's different levels to fame. You know, it's really interesting, because I've kind of been through all of them. The first one is people are like, hey, do we go to high school together? And you're like, no. And I'm like, are you sure? What high school did you go to? And I go, uh, East High School in Denver, Colorado. He's like, huh. And I'm like, where did you go to high school? It's like, Lincoln and Cheyenne, Wyoming. <laughs> and I'm like, so no. Then the next level is they think that you might be that guy. They don't know what it's from or who you are or anything. But are you that guy? And they need you to confirm it. So they're like, hey, are you that guy? And they're like, what? And they're like, are you that guy? I'm like, I'm a guy. And they're like, yeah, are you that guy? I'm like, yeah, I guess I, <laughs> I told you that was a guy. <laughs> and then after that, they know your character's name, but they don't know your name. So they'll be like, they yell out, hey, Weasel, hey, Top Knight, hey, Ehrlich, Ehrlich. And then you walk over and you're like, hey, I'm T.J. Miller. And like, no, Ehrlich. You know, which I like. I like that, too. You know? Then, yeah, I forgot to put that one in. I'm sorry. 
I know, I, I'm sorry. I said, I'm sorry, I don't want to see you on the, in the alley outside after this, okay? Here, I'll do that part again. Hey, Tom Knight, Weasel, Stainer! <laughs> so, uh, so you, yeah, so then, uh, wow, you really fucking threw me off on that one, okay? <laughs> so then after that, you become so famous that they know your name, but they can't believe that it's you. So I was at a sandwich shop, and this guy recognized me. I took a picture with him, and then the guy making my sandwich was like, wait a second, are you T.J. Miller? And I was like, yeah. He's like, shut the fuck up. No, you're not. You're fucking with me right now. Are you fucking with me? And I was like, no, I'm not. He goes, what would T.J. Miller be doing a sandwich shop in uh, Northern California right now? And I said, because well, um, he was hungry, and he wanted a sandwich. So he wanted that. Well, I'm him. He's me, okay? The top level is, and George Clooney and I talked about this, he's a very, he's a gentleman, he was a gentleman to Kate. What do you mean, come on, you don't fucking know. Don't bring up his name in public. So, see, it's fun. So, I, uh, um, so that's, the highest is, people walk by, they don't ask for a picture or anything, they just go, hey, I don't mean to bother you, but I love your work. And that's it, that's the end of it. And uh, I'm not at that level yet. <laughs> I'm at a different level, okay? So um, some of you know uh, that I, I don't know why. I don't, I don't understand this, and maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's because I, um, you know what? I don't know what it is. I, have a, um, I had a brain injury before I was born. It's called an AVM. They removed a golf ball-sized piece of my right frontal lobe. They took that out. And uh, it's very strange. And I didn't really understand it because afterwards I had two seizures. Then they took me in. They told me we're going to do brain surgery, but it's elective. So you can do it or you can not. And they said, we want to tell you that one out of 10 people die who get this. So it's a 10% fatality rate. And I was like, what happens if uh, I don't get it? And they're like, you'll probably die in your mid 30s. And I was like, hmm. After the surgery, will I still be funny? And the intern was like, what? And I said, well, I still be funny. Like, I'm funny, and that's kind of how I make my living, and that's also, like, my purpose in life, sort of, is to make people laugh. So I'm just wondering, like, after the brain surgery, will I still be funny? And he was like, um, you never use that part of your brain, I guess, because it was malformed, like, before you were born. And uh, so, yeah, I think you'll still be funny. I was like, all right, I'm a gambling man. Let's roll the dice. And then I did, and I didn't make it. I died in 2010. But this is all a dream for you, and tomorrow you'll wake up and be like, that fucking T.J. Martinez. <laughs> all right, I want you to feel something. If I was... A great comedian, I would have ended right then, okay? So that was an excellent callback. But instead, I'm gonna finish this bit, then I'm gonna walk off stage and pretend like it's over, then I'm gonna come back on for like a four minute encore, okay? <laughs> yep. So, so I found out just recently that my condition, this AVM that was removed, um, it gives you these kind of side effects that are mistaken for personality traits. So I have trouble paying attention. I can't remember the, like, certain things like the names of, you know, if I met you and you told me your wife's name or something like that, I would have trouble sort of attaching that and being able to remember it. I, I'm bad at sort of nonverbal cues and things like this. Some of them actually are like almost like autistic. Other ones are just make me seem like a fucking asshole. Uh, but that's all like, you know, part of it. And so another thing is uh, it creates a level of mania that kind of continues and can sometimes reach a manic episode. So I don't know if you guys remember this. I, mean, I didn't think you will, but I had a manic episode on a train, and uh, I got in a lot of trouble for it because I thought um, this woman was being dangerous on the train. And, uh, and so I, I called it in. I, I don't know. You guys probably have this too, but in New York we have something called um, If You See Something... Say something. You guys, yeah, you've seen it also. 
Well, I'm here to tell you, <laughs> if you see something, and you say something, and it's nothing, oh, it'll be something. <laughs> it'll be really something for a while. So, you know, that's what I'm, I'm a controversial comedian. Uh, again, I guess. You guys, what's weird is like, you know me now. I've been in front of you for this amount of time. You can you see, you do. That guy knows, look at you. You just yawned and went like this. I like your widow's peak. Count Chocula. Count Chocula is how you tell people that it's still cool to have a receding hairline. I like that. I like that. You guys should get into that. What's that? Okay, I just want to let you guys know up there, uh, he said, I've had it since I was three. It's not receding. It just looks like that. It has since I was three. <laughs> Which I believed until that girl right over there said, yeah, fucking right. <laughs> this is what happens when you're on during my show. Okay. So I'm now at a level of fame that's very specific. It's kind of just, you know... It's just for me. So I wanted to get a tattoo in San Diego, and I found a girl that I really liked her artwork, so I emailed her about the tattoo, and I signed it sincerely, TJ Miller. She emailed me back, and she said, I don't do those types of tattoos. So I emailed her again, and I said, maybe I'm not explaining it right. Give me a call, and then I will. Sincerely, TJ Miller. Then she emailed me again. She says, I'm sorry. We're booked all weekend. Uh, good luck. So I emailed her one more time, but this time I signed it sincerely, TJ Miller from the Emoji Movie. And she emailed me back right away. And she was like, this is so random, but if this is really TJ Miller, then call me. And I did, and she recognized my voice because my voice is actually more famous than I am. Not just because of the things you've heard me in, like Big Hero 6 and How to Train Your Dragon and Gravity Falls and Family Guy and F is for Family and Big Hero 6 and all that stuff. But also I've been in stuff that you didn't even know my voice was around you. I was a car for carfax.com. I was a lion. I am a lion for RBC. And I am the Mucinex man. So I was, I was, the, I was that little booger. You know the booger from the Mucinex commercial? That was me, okay? So I call her so she recognized my voice and she did the tattoo and then when she had her, um, the needle in my arm, she goes, you know, I totally thought you were trolling me. And I was like, what do you mean? She goes, I thought you were fucking with me. I thought there was no way you were actually T.J. Miller. And I was like, really? I said, well, why? She goes, I know that's what I thought. Like, why would anyone pretend to be T.J. Miller? <laughs> <laughs> 